Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 60. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're going to be driving around the Nürburgring. We've got seven laps. Which uh, really doesn't give me much hope. We're actually doing the uh, Porsche. We're only allowed to take 911s for this one. Uh, and by the looks of it, I'm just going straight into it. There's no point me stopping recording at this point. I may as well just get straight into the race. Uh, it is, yeah, we got the number five RSR. The uh, Xbox 360 look design. Hopefully, this car is actually fairly uh, stable to drive. Because uh, the other Porsche was not very stable when we drove it. There we go. This, I believe as well, is the first time that we've ever driven on the Nordschleife in this game. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think we've actually driven around the Nürburgring yet. Which is kind of concerning. The fact that this track is in this game, but pretty much not utilized at all. I might have to filter out like description words and just double check if any of the other episodes have been done around the Nürburgring. I mean, seven laps around it is gonna be pretty, pretty insanely long. quite fun in this game and normally I'm not a great fan of the Nürburgring sometimes especially in stuff like Gran Turismo and uh, Gran Turismo Gran Turismo yeah like Gran Turismo 7 Gran Turismo Sport and Gran Turismo 4 the like the main Gran Turismos that I've played like properly and each one of them driving the Nürburgring is a pain in the ass 5 and 6 were okay But uh, yeah, no, that was extremely enjoyable. And the population around the outside of the circuit as well. It's actually kind of impressive. I wonder if the Nordschleife is actually in Project Cars. Not 100% sure if the full Nordschleife is in Project. But if it is, I'm 100% doing VR around the North Cipher at some point. Proper into that VR racing shit at the moment. Not bad. Yeah, surprisingly, this Porsche is a lot more stable to drive than um, the uh, other 911, the R4 911. This R3 one is so much better on so many levels. Oh, that was my fault. I was reading chat.
I think with Motorsport 3 as well, I'm going to try something a little different towards the end of it. Where we mix in some, um... Because I know the end of Motorsport 3, when it comes to me doing that, there's going to be a lot of races. So I think I'm going to mix in a couple of Motorsport 4 streams. Sort of like pre-record some Motorsport 4 content. And then once we finish Motorsport 3, we'll properly be in Motorsport 4 again. See how it goes. If it doesn't go well, then we just continue as we have. Just complete the entire of the game before moving on to the next one. Um, if it works well, us mixing it up for a couple of streams sort of in the transition period between 3 and 4, then yeah, we can do that. Like two streams of Motorsport 3 on like a Monday and a Friday. And then a stream on Wednesday of Motorsport 4. As we're getting close to the end. Could be an idea. But again, it is just an idea. Now, the question is, how many pit stops are we going to have to do? Something tells me we're going to have to do three. Three laps on one stint, and then two laps and two laps. But if I'm pushing for a three-lap stint, and then two, two laps... I'm going to do the three laps at the start of the race and then do two stops. Unbelievable. I've lost control of the car there. And because we have cosmetic damage... The car now looks hideous, and it's going to look hideous for the race of the race. Mm, I did not want that. I wanted a nice picture on the carousel here. Might have to do it on the um, other carousel then. I can't believe how easy that wing just came off. Like, the wing was just gone. Like it was held on with like blue tack or something. Yay, I love being limited to 250 miles an hour. So yeah, those that rear brake and rear suspension is uh, a little bit knackered, but... Should be fairly easily repaired when we come into the pit stop anyways. bad so clearly when you damage your bodywork it doesn't affect the aerodynamics of the car which is good 
I genuinely don't know if actually when you damage the bodywork that it affects the arrow performance in any of the Forza games. But at least it doesn't affect in this game. Because if it did, then we'd be restarting the race. We'd probably be screwed with a lot of the endurance races, to be honest. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Laguna Seca one, I actually had no damage whatsoever on that race, except for the final corner, because I decided to run into the car because I wanted to overtake the entire grid and be like, I've just overtaken the entire grid in this race and lapped the entire grid. If I didn't crash into that car, I wouldn't have gotten that overtake, but I also would have maintained zero damage whatsoever so kind of lost with that one Do 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 Ouch. Little bit of damage there. Still looking good though. Sort of. I do like the way that this uh, this car handles this course. It's not doing a, a bad job. Let's just hope we don't crash our car in the exact same spot on the next lap because that will be embarrassing. The only thing I'm hoping for uh, throughout this mega series, I don't know if I've mentioned this. Um, I'm obviously nervous gaming stuff on retro hardware. Technically speaking, the Xbox 360 is a retro system now. Because if you think the PS2 was classed as retro when the PS4 was out. So technically speaking, that means the PS3 and all the stuff on that generation, so the Xbox 360 included is technically classed as a retro console. But... That's not to say that's a bad thing. The only thing is, it's definitely um, a bit nerve-wracking. Because I don't have games for gold. I don't use cloud save. So if my save data goes, it goes. It's gone. Like that. In a puff of smoke. So the only thing I ask is for this Xbox to last another two years. So I can finish three and four. Obviously it's not going to take me two years to finish three and four, but... I don't know how long it's going to last. But as long as I can finish those games... I don't care. And we can then move on to the Horizon games and all that other stuff, which is on platforms that are known for being a little more rugged and longer lasting. But then again, the 360 I have is the um, E model, I think it is, it's called, which is basically the Xbox One version. It's basically the Xbox 360, but looks like the Xbox One. Um, and yeah, that one, hopefully it will last a little longer and it won't go bang. But for me, myself, I've been using this Xbox 360 for, I want to say I bought it 
early 2019. So I've had it a good three plus years where I've owned it and I've used it and I've bought games for it. I mean, this Xbox 360 is probably going through the most playtime it ever has done. And yes, I'll be running pretty much uh, Motorsport 1, 2, 3... Actually, no. One was done on emulation through the 360. Motorsport 2, 3, and 4 are done natively, so that's it's being played on the console it was intended for at the console's intended resolution. Good old drum and bass. Um, yeah, so those tyres are starting to wear out. I'm going to push for three. Actually, let's double check the um, wear on the tyres and miss. 60%. Oh. We'll be at 90% tyre wear. Yeah, we'll risk it. We'll risk it for thy biscuit. Yeah, so Motorsport 2, 3, and 4 are all native. Uh, Horizon 1 is going to be played on an Xbox One X. So, unless I buy a Series X at some point, in which case it will be a Series X version. But I'm not 100% sure on... Uh, what's it called? The difference in terms of... Um, quality. Whether it's uh, better on the Xbox One X and the Series X and that. I know that they're X enhanced technically, which is confusing, but yeah. Horizon 1 will be played on a next gen system rather than the 360. Uh, then every other game is going to be played on the Xbox One or Series X, so it's, it's basically going to run like it was on an Xbox One. Um, so that is Motorsport 5, Motorsport 6, Horizon 2. And then Horizon 3, 4, 5, and Motorsport 7 are going to be running on PC. So basically, we're doing four games on Xbox 360, four games on Xbox One, four games on PC. I love chasing sayers. They got some absolute tunes. A little bit of a drift there. Burning. Burning, ding, 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 ding. Burning. Yeah, we're going to be looking at an hour for this race.
Not bad. I do need to look into um, if it's possible to use two graphics cards um, independently as separate devices in a PC. Because uh, whenever I'm gaming and streaming, it seems to be graphics card problems that I'm having. Even though my graphics card is powerful as hell. Um, when it comes to doing uh, like streaming and playing like Horizon 5. Horizon 5 has to be on the lower graphics settings. And i got no clue why. I think OBS just loves being a bit of a graphics whore. Yeah, cheers for that, Alex. I know I missed the corner. I've missed a couple of them. That's why I've not got a rear wing, or a rear bumper, or a front headlight. <laughs> um, but yeah, if there's a way that I can get like all my PC stuff to run off of a main graphics card like this 3060 in the moment, so when I'm like rendering videos or anything like that, it uses that, OBS, and all that. But if I can have a separate graphics card that I can then run games off of. Because I know there's a way you can select what graphics card a game uses. Burning. But I've got to do a crap ton of research on it. How to do it. What to set up. All that stuff. All right, these rear tires are getting really worn out now, as you can see. Burning. Now that's how you get around that corner. But on those shades and wave to yesterday, the sunlight hurts my eye. Do you know one thing I didn't look at was the fuel gauge. I actually didn't look at the fuel gauge at all to take that into account if we could do a third lap. And it's lucky we have enough fuel. Because <laughs> if we didn't have enough fuel, I would have found out the hard way. What do I need to do, Alex? If it involves buying you a graphics card, no. <laughs> Simple answer. Nope. <laughs> Get a life. Cheers. Cheers. Appreciate it. Oh, those rear tires are shot. How much uh, wear percentage is that? 86 point... Uh, 87... 87.1, 87.2, 87.3. Fucking hell... 88.7 Yeah, they are red. Oh my god, it's a wild sneaky. How are you today, sneaky? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Woo! My tires are going to burst. How much where are we at now? 90.5%. Like, genuinely, one of these... Well, the tyres have no rear grip. Or front grip. So little tyres left. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, uh, I appreciate you popping in, Stinky. Yeah, so we are two subs away. From gifting a sub to the chat. Um, so, if we get two more subscribers, I'll be gifting a sub to a random user in the chat. 
Uh, and if we get another 17 followers, I'll be gifting three, three subs to the chat. You have fans that watch you in the shower. Cheers. Oh my god, I do. Oh my god, technically speaking, there are women that watch me in the shower. 94.2%. I got to 95% wear. Let's go. Ninety five point five percent wear. Suspension is all repaired. Tires are replaced. Let's go. Do do do. Alex, I have leveled up in life. I'm proud of me. Probably not. Do do do. <laughs> no. Wow. Unbelievable. Hey, no worries, Sneaky. No worries. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a long race. I don't even know where the halfway mark of the Nordschleifer is. Actually, probably the second, um, what's it called? Finish line. I think we've gone past the first one. Because I know this uh, track split up into sectors as well, so. Well, fair enough. Well, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much, Sneaky. With a heat wave. With a heat wave, yeah, 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 yeah. Chicken wings, Chicken wings, Chicken wings, I like chicken wings. Whoop, whoop, it's the sound of the police. Oh no, I've hit the wall. Got a bit of break damage now. Which is not good. Do, 
We are so close to a thousand followers. Like, once we hit a thousand, it's much easier at that point to actually start getting recommended and stuff like that on Twitch. I don't know why. It's, it, it, it seems like if you're below a thousand, you don't really get much, but if once you go above it, you can start growing much quicker. There we go, result. Yeah, so it's going to be about 11 o'clock before I finish this. Fun, fun time. Touch me softly. Wibble wibble wobble. With the gangsta. Go, not bad. Ah. I still can't believe this entire race has just been completely damaged. I can't find a shirt to wear. Should I go with tank top or booba shirt? What is a booba shirt? I would like a definition of what this is. <laughs> do, 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 do. I mean, no matter what, I'd probably go for the booba shirt because boobies, <laughs> titties. <laughs> it shows booba like a lot of booba. I like a lot of booba. So, go for that one. <laughs> the car is unstable. Like my... Mental health. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that, that got dark. <laughs> I was gonna, gonna say... <laughs> 
I was going to say the car's as unstable as my sex life, and then I realized, no, that's pretty stable. Stably non-existent. <laughs> oh, fuck. I backed myself into a wall that I was like, I got no fucking clue. What? <laughs> Chat, we need to attack the simp boss. Let's get fallen below 20,000 health points before uh, before the end of the stream. We got another half an hour of the stream, so... Let's get him done and dusted. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. And everybody don't know the program. Program by chasing a status thing. Can you... I'm not even on the throttle. That thing was not going out of the grass. I'm not going to lie. I really think the Nordschleifer should have um, tarmac around the outside. Off the curbs rather than grass. Because I feel like grass is too punishing on this track. Especially with how narrow it can be in sections. Bonk. The rear of the car is slowly getting more damaged, apparently. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. A little egg oh my god. There's no front but it's a completely different car. Well oh, that's hideous. Oh come on. Hey, we're still on track. Ah, oh, now that's how it's done. I feel magical. I know I'll be there for you. Back to the beginning. Give me a sign. Tell me what you Tell me what you need. Not too bad. Hey, I got drift tap. Give me 6,000 skill points, please. There by you. You've unlocked a skill point. have two more laps after this. I am a little more happier that we don't have to do this as our final race because I'll be honest, the Nürburgring is a little bit tedious. So at least the final race doesn't involve me going around the Nürburgring. 
or the Norse Lifer, if you want to be pedantic about it. I will be there for you, oh baby. Ah, ah, wow, 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 ah, ah, wow, wow, wow. Oh baby. Telling me to slow down, but I don't think I need to. Right, so there is no way that we can do it. We can, uh, we can go another lap and pit the next lap, but I think to even it out, we'll just pit now. <sighs> Get the car repaired. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mixed emotions. Oh, this is a off their new album. Mixed emotions. Two more laps. Is that my front bumper? That was horrendous on so many levels. You keep on giving me mixed emotions. So there are points in this track where this car is more unstable than I would like it to be. There are also points in this track where this car is extremely grippy. Surprisingly grippy. You keep on giving me mixed emotions. bad.
Oh, not bad. My shoulder's fucked. My body is fucked. I'm not accepting that. Do 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 do. Still got another like 13 minutes to go. Five minutes? No. 11 minutes. Not bad. Rasta. Not bad. Come on, Eileen. To think that after this, three more streams. It's crazy to think of. When it rains, it pours. Cheers. Cheers for explaining how rain works, Mr. Chase and Status. I wonder what the force feedback's like in this game, or whether it even has force feedback. To be honest, I doubt Falls I had force feedback until like. Motorsport 4 properly got some good sales though. Um, when they did the Xbox wireless wheel controller thing. That was awesome. And I've never seen anything like it, but it even comes with like a driver disc for Xbox. Like you plug it in your Xbox 360 and it downloads drivers to your Xbox 360. I, I thought it was mad. It was weird. It was cool though. You look like a sponge. Oh, look at that sun. The sunlight hurts my eyes. Ding dong, ding dong. Not bad. Oh my god! Final lap. This is it. Do, 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 do. The aim of the game is to be 8.05. We got 8.05 on the second lap. So that was with slightly worn out tyres.
And that was with the damage cast, so. Incre incre incredible general. Wicked, wicked, the jungle was massive. Wicked, wicked, the jungle was massive. We are slightly ahead, even with a 0.1 second penalty. Not bad. We are getting there. It's been a long day for me. Bing, 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 bing. Orig orig original general round. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two and a half seconds so far. Nine point eight seconds. Let's go. Try and not go off then. Ten point five, looking good. Twenty seconds. What the hell? Maybe if we were a little bit better, we would have finished it by now, probably. Though, to be fair, that twenty seconds is penalty time included in that. So that's penalty time for that split time at that point, and also penalty time for me now included. Because even though the lamp counter shows my current time, the actual split time is calculated with penalties up to this point for that fastest lap and also up to this point for current lap. Twenty two point three, Jesus. Oh, I lost a little bit there. We'll probably be looking at about 19 seconds after that.
20? Okay. I'll take it. That's not too bad, actually. So I know these corners are like actual corners that I need to be careful of and actually slow down for. But there is a section up here. I think after the first, like the big drop, where it asks you to break for the entire segment, you can just go over that drop, break for that one corner, and every corner after that will ask you to break. Just ignore it. I think this is the point. Yeah, so this is the point with the drop. And this is the point where I believe you can just ignore all the break-in lines. Yeah, look. And it only took me six laps to work that out. And then after that, you then have to follow what it says to an extent. Probably going to be looking at about 7.40 for the lap time. Woo. The race done. Do, do. Do 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 Porsche level 4, sure. There's a lot of damages in that, though. Thank you very much. I'll take my money. I'll take my car. What car is that? Is that? Oh, oh, it's this one. I like this one. I got a nice Gran Turismo escape of this car. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.